Growing up as a kid, I always wondered what the church actually was. I was involved in church, my dad was a pastor, and I wanted the church to be something that was perfect. I wanted the church to be something that was totally genuine and real. But the truth is, it wasn't. To be honest, I didn't get it. I was really disillusioned and the leadership that I saw that was trying to move the church forward was always failing. I saw leader after leader fall morally. I saw people who said they believed one thing but didn't live it out in reality. I remember getting very disillusioned because the church wasn't meeting my expectations and one day my mentor started talking to me about this passage in Matthew where Jesus is talking to the disciples and he says, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. I remember my mentor telling me, you know, Dan, funny thing about gates is that they've never attacked anybody. When on earth have gates ever attacked someone? The church is playing offense. The church is not playing defense. Hell is on the defense and the church is playing offense. And I started to realize that even though I was disillusioned with church, even though it didn't make sense to me, that I could trust Jesus' words in that passage where he claimed that he was going to build the church. And all the problems, all the sin, all the junk that I saw was going to be resolved, not by humans, not by other people, but by Jesus Christ himself, the author and finisher of my faith. So knowing that, knowing that Jesus is in control, knowing that it's not about us and it's all about him, we have prayerfully asked, where should we go? Where should we take the news of the gospel next? Here in Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania, there's 43,000 people and the city is only 3.1% evangelical. We want to start a church planning movement fueled by the power of God and the excitement of that vision and that mission that he has set out to accomplish here in Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania. The city needs a church planning movement and we're asking for four different things from people like you. First of all, we want to ask you to pray for us. We need prayer support. We want you asking God and communicating with God on our behalf and asking Him to do great things in our movement. The second thing we're asking for are partners. We want people to actually move here with us and be a part of the team as we start doing this church planning movement here in Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania. The third thing we're asking for is financial support. We hate asking for money, but the truth is it's a tool that we need to accomplish the will of God here in Wilkesbury. And so we're asking for dollars and cents so that we can move forward with this church planning movement. The fourth thing that we're asking for is networking. Maybe you can't come and partner with us and maybe you can't give financially at this point, but you might know someone who can. And that's what networking is all about. It's about finding other people that other people know and branching out exponentially so that we can move forward with this vision to give every man, woman, and child in Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania repeated opportunities to hear and see the gospel of Jesus Christ.